So let's go ahead and get started in a nice, comfortable tabletop position. So remembering to spread the fingers wide, press through the fingertips into the mat. And have a nice soft bend in the elbows, just so you're not locking them out. Just take a few deep breaths here. Remembering to breathe all the way down into the low belly. And next time you inhale, go ahead and lower the belly button to the floor, look forward. On an exhale, pull the belly button up, look back toward the legs. See if you can keep this going on your own breath. So just doing a couple rounds of cat-cow here, just to kind of work out the kinks in the spine. And get used to breathing with your movement. we can come back to a nice neutral tabletop. When you're ready, you can go ahead and tuck the right toes under, sliding the foot back, just stretching out that calf a little bit, the backs of the legs, sending energy out through that back heel. And then on your next exhale, we'll go ahead, bring that right leg over to the side and walk the hands up to the hips. Stand up nice and tall. On your next inhale, go ahead, lift the left arm up and over for a nice side stretch here. And you can take the gaze wherever you want. If it's comfortable for the neck, you can take it up between under the left arm. We'll come back up and exhale, plant the hands on the floor and go ahead, slide that right foot back behind you. We have an option to lift the left knee up off the mat just for a moment and set it back down nice and gently. And you can go ahead and bring that right knee back in to meet the left back into tabletop. couple breaths here and then you can go ahead tuck that left foot under and slide it back and on your next exhale go ahead slide that left foot out to the left and then slowly walk your hands back into your hips and come up nice tall spine then on your next inhale, go ahead, lift the right arm up and over, getting a nice stretch through that right side. And again, taking the gaze wherever it's comfortable for your neck. And when you're ready, you can go ahead, lower that right arm, come back to a nice tall spine. And then walk your hands back out and bring that left leg back into that calf stretch. An option to go ahead and lift that right knee up off the mat just a little bit. And then you can go ahead and gently place it back down and bring the left leg in to meet the right. You can go ahead, take the knees wide and send your hips back to your heels for child's pose. And you have an option to place a block under the forehead here just to kind of maintain that nice long spine. Take a couple deep breaths here, breathing into the belly. So on the inhales, you should feel your midsection expand into your thighs. And on the exhale, maybe pull away a little bit. And 
and then on your inhale you can go ahead and come out of it just a little bit on an exhale go ahead and thread that left arm under the right and you can either bring the left side of your head to the floor or to the block sometimes it feels better to bring it to the block just to give a little bit more space so you're not kind of collapsing into your shoulder and your neck Still remembering to breathe into the belly, even in these twists. to that neutral child's pose for a couple breaths. Now on your next inhale, go ahead, come out of it just a little bit. And then on an exhale, go ahead, thread that right arm under the left now. And you can bring the right side of your head either to the mat or to a block, whichever one is more comfortable. Again, just remembering to breathe in the twist. Checking in with your hips again, just to make sure they're nice and even, that one isn't getting pulled forward. Getting lots of space on the inhales and focusing on the relaxation on the exhales. Go ahead on your next inhale, just gently unwind, come back to that child's pose. Take a nice exhale, and then on an inhale, we'll come back up to tabletop. We'll go ahead, tuck both feet under, and lift the hips up and back to down dog. You can walk it out here. Bending the knees as much as you want to, as much as is comfortable. Pressing through the fingertips. Sending the chest toward the tops of the thighs. And then on your next inhale, we'll go ahead, gently walk the feet up to the hands, coming into a half lift on the inhale. And exhaling forward fold. You can hold opposite elbows here. Bend the knees. I'm just kind of sway back and forth, just releasing the low back, the shoulders, relaxing everything in the upper body. Just taking some time, maybe nodding your head yes. And shaking your head no, if that feels good on the neck. Just kind of decompressing the spine here. And then when you're ready on an inhale, we'll release the hands to the floor, come up to a half lift. And on an exhale, we'll take the hands over to the right foot. And if you want to go a little bit deeper into this, you can go ahead, start to bend the left knee just a little bit. Sometimes that's all it takes. And then on your next inhale, we'll come back to center in that half lift. And this time on your exhale, we'll take the hands over to the left foot. And again, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can go ahead and start to gently bend the right knee. And 
And then on your next inhale, we'll come back to that half lift in the center. Exhale, fold forward. You have the option to interlace your hands behind your head, maybe giving yourself a nice neck massage with your thumbs. Sometimes that feels really good, especially if you're like me and you bob your head a lot at concerts. <laughs> And on an inhale, you can release your hands, come up to a half lift. And exhale, step both feet back, come back into that down dog. Inhale, you can slowly lower your knees down to the mat. And exhale, back into child's pose. You can take your knees whatever width you want here. And you have the option to bring your hands down by your feet, palms face up. Just kind of opening up that upper back area. And just take a few breaths here. And then on your next inhale, slowly roll the spine all the way up. Just so you're kind of seated on your heels. And just kind of shake it out here, maybe... Take some wrist rolls. And then when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead, take our palms over our ears. So our fingers are facing back, our elbows are out. And just start to gently tap kind of at the base of the skull here. So if you have any ringing in your ears, this will help kind of alleviate that. And you can do this as long as you want. If the ringing comes back later, you can always try this again. And if sitting on your heels is uncomfortable, you can always feel free to come to a nice comfortable seat. So while you're doing this, you should hear a nice kind of, sounds like a bass drum almost, when you tap the bottom of your skull. On an inhale, you can interlace your fingers, open the chest, open the elbows out to the sides. And on an exhale, fold everything forward, hollowing out the belly. Just taking some kind of little mini cat cows here with the spine. Just moving on your own breath. And then you can go ahead, release the arms. On an inhale, interlace the fingers. And take the palms up to the ceiling. Maybe taking a little side stretch here. And if interlacing the hands is too much, you can always do cactus arms or goalpost arms. We'll inhale back up to center and over to the other side on the exhale. Again, just having some nice space around the neck and the head. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, release the hands. And then we're going to go ahead, come through onto our seat. We'll go ahead, bring the soles of the feet to touch. Inhale, nice long spine. On an exhale, we'll hinge at the hips and start to bring our chest toward our feet. So we're kind of leading with the chest here and not so much the head. If you want to, you can give yourself a nice little foot massage here. Just remembering to breathe.
Maybe on the inhales, you get a little bit longer, more space in the spine. And on the exhales, maybe you fold forward a little bit deeper. Or you can also just relax into the pose a little bit more. Taking a few more breaths here. All the way into the low belly. And then on an inhale, you can slowly rise back up using your hands. You can help to bring your knees together. And we'll go ahead here. If you have a block or a textbook or pretty much anything that can help support you, you can go ahead, just put it next to your hips, roll down onto your back. Knees bent, feet flat on the mat. And then on an inhale, you can go ahead, lift your hips up, and go ahead and put that block or whatever you have just kind of on your low back or upper seat area, so kind of on your sacrum. So you feel nice and supported. This shouldn't be uncomfortable. Just take some time to adjust it. And then you can allow your arms to relax out to the sides. And then on your next exhale, we're going to go ahead and raise our right leg up. So it's going to be kind of like legs up the wall without a wall and using only one leg. <laughs> so we'll go ahead, extend through that right heel, flex the right toes back towards you. You can keep that left knee bent here. And then on your exhale, we'll go ahead, lower that right foot to the floor. And then we'll go ahead on an inhale, we'll go ahead, lift that left foot up to the ceiling. And flex those left toes back towards you, pressing out through that left heel. Still keeping a nice open chest, nice even breath. And then on your exhale, we'll go ahead, gently release that left foot to the ground, back into your supported bridge. And if you want a little bit more of a back bend here, you can go ahead and start to extend the legs out only if that's comfortable for your back. Sometimes it just feels like a really nice release in the hips here and in the back. And the whole front of the body, which can really be nice after a long show. So we're still keeping the chest nice and open, the arms relaxed. Right now, pretty much every area of your body should be really relaxed. So even if your knees are bent, still just allowing your weight to be supported here. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead, bring your feet back in if they're not already. Go ahead, lift the hips up off of that support, move the support to the side. And you can go ahead, gently lower the hips back to the mat and extend the legs out into your Shavasana. So you should have a nice open chest here. If you want, you can go ahead, release that belly breath. Just come back to your natural breath. And you can be here as long as you want. So just remember when you come out of it, just to be gentle with yourself and how you come out of this pose. Just taking your time. And really taking this time for yourself to just kind of decompress and relax. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste.